dear students so today we are going to deal with a very effective tool in C programming language which are called as structures and this is a topic which is very easy to understand if you are good at arrays because we can call this as some kind of a user defined array which is going to be very useful when we are dealing with C programs so let's see so these are the learning outcomes so the first one is understanding the concepts of structures okay we heard the term but we want to know what it is and why is it used so that is the first part and the second part we are going to understand the use of structures in programming so we'll go through a sample program and we will see how this is useful for us in different cases and uh, different functions so the first thing we need to define structures so structures are user defined data type so we have different data types like uh, integer data type character data type so we have already seen that those are actually system defined or the compiler defined we cannot do anything to that we just use the identifier int or uh, the keyword int or float or character and automatically whatever that is associated with that particular data type will be given to the variable we are assigning but structures are user defined which means that you can decide what should be the property of that particular variable now second one it is used to store data that are related but having different data types we are very familiar with arrays in case of arrays what we are doing is that we are defining say int a of 20 so which means that we are going to define an array named a which can store 20 integer values okay that is int a 20 so when we want to relate uh, different datas together so I, I have a record which consists of say name then uh, then roll number and all these things I need to keep in a single place okay I want to relate all these together so in such a case we can use structures then they are more like arrays but having the advantage to store data of different data type so still now i spoke a lot but still you will be having some confusions that will be clear when we move to the next slide so this is the part of that so what is the use okay we all have a gmail account or google account so when we are trying to open a google account and when we are using the sign up option so the first screen what we are going to see is that we will have to enter different information so i'm just showing a sample page what we are having to get a create uh, to create an account in uh, some website called as abc.com it's not uh, the valid one just a simple one so you see here if you are looking at the different data that are asked in the form the first one is name first name last name username age and country so first name this name last name username and country these are all characters character arrays we know that a name is considered as a character array so these are all character array and there is an age which is an integer so you see that if you are planning to open an account in google how many users will be there in google having accounts in google there are numerous number Okay, just like the stars in the sky that many users are there using the google account so if you are planning to have their details stored in separate variables say first name of one one array last name of one another array first name of uh, say 253rd user last name of 253rd user so it's going to be a data which is, will be very hard to manage so it's better if we can combine the information of the first user everything kept in one place so when i call that particular uh, say shelf if i open that shelf that shelf is going to have a lot of subdivision in the first subdivision there will be the first name last name username age and country everything will be available in a single shelf rather than putting the data scattered throughout like name in one shelf okay his age in the age of corresponding users in another shelf so i need to 
take the first shelf i'll be getting the name so i will count the number say 253 then i will open the 253 shelf in the age then i will get the age so it's a hard thing to handle the such a data so in such a case we need some data type that can have the capacity to store different data types that is character integer float all these things need to be combined in a single place for that we can use structure okay so for defining a structure or creating a structure the keyword that is available in c program is struct now let's see so i have given a small uh, sample code which talks about how to create this so called data type so here you can see that i have used the keyword struct okay when i use keyword struct the compiler will understand that i am going trying to create a structure so the name of the structure i have given as form details so this form details is a user defined data type okay a compiler defined or system driven data type is integer when i say int a the system will understand the value of a that we can expect an integer value in a and the corresponding four bytes will be allotted for that okay and similarly when i say struct form details okay now the system know i am going to define a user defined data type and it will be having some components for which i need to allocate memory so what are the details that's what is given here so the form details this is the same screen from the last uh, form first name which is a character array it can have 20 characters last name another character array which can have 20 characters then uh, username another character array which can uh, hold 25 characters age is an integer country is a character array so now when i say form details as a user defined data type that data type will be having the capacity to store first name last name username age and country okay so if i define something as form details okay just like defining a as integer now i can define a variable as form details when i define that variable as form detail the memory will be allocated to store all these data okay is that okay let's see so now the structure has been created and its name is form details so a user defined just like integer character int char similarly now i have a new data type which is form details okay now i want to uh, use that particular variable which is identified as the defined as the data type form detail so how to do that so that's what is done here so for uh, assigning or defining a variable as integer i just need to use int a so it will be an integer data type but if i want to define some variable as a structure this there are two methods so the first method is shown here the, in the first method what we do is struct form details okay this is the creation part soon after the creation before placing the okay semicolon define whatever you want with that data type now what happens is that this is a array of structures and this is a single structure so what i am doing is i am creating two variables okay one is an array other one is a variable so this separate form is a variable which will be having data type as form details and that uh, data type form details means it will be having these many memory locations right when i say form 1000 which means that it basically creates 1000 forms that is form 1 form 2 form 0 form 1 form 2 form 3 etc form 999 and each form will be having these many contents okay so this is one way the second way is that create the structure okay when we, when i put semicolon here this creation is over now i can use a separate line to define 
here what I used is along with the creation I define the variables here instead of defining it together I defined I created the structure first and then I assigned or defined the values using a separate statement if I'm using a separate statement I need to use struct in the beginning okay struct form details form thousand separate form these two assignments are valid and both well, the effect of both are there will be two structures created one is an array other one is separate form okay now we'll move ahead and when we see the program the things will be better clear to you so now how can I access the data okay I define form thousand so the memory location there are thousand forms available in the system now okay thousand forms starting from form 0 to form 999 now I want to access a data for example I want to access the uh, username of third user or the form which is filled by the third user I want to access the username so how to do that for that we have something called as structure member operator also known as dot operator okay so how to use this dot operator so this is the very important part unless you know this dot operator we won't be able to access data stored in a structure so I have given three statements so the first one you can see here it is printf percentage s form of two dot first name okay I have used the dot operator in between this is the dot operator and another statement is scanf percentage d form of 22 dot h then puts separate form dot username so let's see what each statement is executing when I write this particular statement printf percentage s form 2 dot first name form of 2 okay form of 0 is for the first user form of 1 is for the second form of 2 is for the third user so when I write something like this so it automatically takes the form of the third user and when I put dot first name it will fetch the first name of the form of 2 that is the third user okay so whatever that data that is available in the third user's first name will be printed by using this statement okay so what will this be doing whatever the user has entered that value will be stored in the 23rd user's age okay so it stores the entered integer into the 23rd user's age okay so that's how we are accessing the data and uh, in the state statement you can see that I didn't use 2 or 22 or nothing I just simply wrote separate form dot username it is because separate form was a variable or simply a structure and these were arrays okay I created form thousand and this was simply separate form so this does this is not an array this is just a single variable just like this you can assume as int a statement this is int a thousand okay for defining an integer array and defining an integer both I will be using the same method int a defines a as an integer int a of thousand defines a as a array having thousand storage locations so here separate form is a variable and this form is an array so when I do this what it does is it goes to the separate form and checks for the username and whatever that is stored in there will be printed okay prints the data stored in the username for username of user separate form fine okay I think some clarity you may be getting we'll further move ahead and we'll see a program so that things will be very clear for you so I'm trying a simple program so this is to create a structure with details name age and country name so I'm going to define a user defined data type which should be having capacity to store name age and country name then to define an array of structure 
with the define structure type okay i need to define just like the earlier case i need to define a structure and i will be assigning an array or i will be defining an array with that structure data type and i need to store details and i need to print the details so let's see how it can be done okay so i'm doing the coding here so you can see that so i'm including the file or the header file stdio.h that's the one that we require then i'm going for uh, the main function okay in main and now i'm simply defining a variable i which can be used for the iteration now i'm going to define the structure okay so this is the structure creation part so the keyword is struct now i need to give the name for the data type just like int character so what should be the name so i am giving the name as say details okay so the structure what i am creating will be having the name as details and this is how we define the different content of a structure so we know that for us uh, to create a structure with details name age and country name so we require three things first thing is name so we know that a name will be a character array let uh, there be a size 20 i'm expecting 20 characters in name and the next one was age age is integer so int age and the third one is country name country name is again a character array so i'm putting is that uh, character country and it's an array so say size 25 so now the creation of the structure is done so i have a structure named details which is a user defined data type now i can assign uh, assign variables to this uh, define variables having the data type as details so there is two way there are two ways in which i can do that one is simply by adding here say form of uh, 100 okay here they have not specified a number so i'm putting like a form of so let's for the program sake i'm putting like three form of three so now what happens is that three forms will be created the memory for three forms will be created each can have name age and country fine so this is one way or the optional way other way what we can def uh, define is struct details that is the name of the structure form three okay both are valid definitions so i'm going with the uh, first one so we have defined it now what we need to do is we need to enter data okay first we need to enter some data and that need to be stored in the uh, different forms then i need to see what is stored by printing it so the first what i'm going is storing data okay, storing data step so there are three forms so i'm using a iterative method i equal to zero say i less than three uh, i plus plus the for loop i'm using for the purpose this should be zero at the time now i am asking the user to enter the data and data name comma age comma country name okay so the user will be entering this data now i need to read the data so i'm using scanf scanf the first one is name name is a character array or a string so percentage s the second the user will be entering age which is integer so percentage d third he is going to enter the country name so percentage s because it's going to be a string and now where these data need to be stored this is the point where we are going to use the dot operator so dot operator should be when uh, it should be like form of i why i 
the first user will be having the index value as 0 in the first iteration the i value is 0 second iteration it becomes 1 just like entering data into an array we can enter it so it's form of i dot name okay you should be careful with the um, case it is case in series so if i have given the n as capital n here also i should give it as capital n or it will be considered as a different variable so the first is name second is percentage d which is an integer that should be saved in age so again i'm going to do that form of i dot age okay and the third the user is going to enter the country name which is a string and it should be stored in this one so here i should place and okay in scanf statement we should use and for strings that is not required ampersand is not required for string so i'm not putting it and it's going to be country so by doing this statement whatever data the first data the user is entering will be saved into form of zero dot name age in form of zero dot age form of zero dot country and in the second iteration the i value will be replaced with the uh, one so this becomes everything will go into the form of the first uh, second user so let's see here so okay so the reading part is done now we need to have the printing printing data so there also i again require a for loop so i am just copying it okay so i don't have to print say okay so i'm going to write it as out enter the data name comma age comma country okay. so now you can see now we want to print so instead of scanf i am going with printf and what is the data i need to print the first thing what i want to print is the string name so percentage s then i am using a tab so that it will display properly percentage t percentage d for uh, age and then percentage s and a new line okay and what should be printed is already given here so i need to just remove this and i'm i'm having my printf statement that we have used a lot of time now i'm going for return that's the end of the program and now let's see how or what will happen okay so it's uh, showing some error let's see what it is uh, okay there's a spelling mistake typo is there now let's see okay it's throwing some error okay let's see what the error is you fine so what is the error print f i used a capital p that is the error here also i used a capital p so now it should be fine okay so it is asking me to enter the data of the first so i'm entering the name as say abc age as so say 22 then country i'm typing in as india the first user data is done second user say def age 21 and country let us be uh, india itself okay the third user name say ghi age let it be 23 and the country let it be england so all the data has been stored now it's the printing so it's coming the data name age country this is the data of the first user the data of the second user the data of the third user all the information has got printed if you want to display it in a proper way so what i can do is i can just eliminate this slash n here and i will put it here so the data will be presented in a better way say first name abc 22 india def uh, 21 again india then uh, ghi uh, 23 england now you can see what is coming here so data name age so now it's 
beta b whatever it is so we just have the we have read all the information and we have printed the information so this is how a program using structures work fine okay so the program is given here so we have explained each step so there are just two things that you need to be careful here one is the creation and definition part okay how to create a um, structure how to define variables with that data type these are the first thing that you need to be careful the second part is the usage of dot operator okay how to use dot operator when it is an array of uh, structural elements we'll be using the indexing indexing is just like that of arrays the only difference is that when we are using arrays we'll be putting the uh, index number at the very end but here we need to put the index number at the end of the um, variable name okay not at the content part this is the content part so dot content uh, array element dot content so name age and country are the contents this is the structure name form 1 form 2 form 0 etc fine so we have the output also we have seen that so now we have we need to make just a small comparison the comparison between array and structure okay so we started defining structure by comparing it with array so this is the basic difference between them so if you are considering arrays it is a collection of related elements of same data type int array character array float array so all the elements in that particular array will be having same data type but if we are using structure just like the earlier program we can have a combination of different data types so in the same structure we can have integer character float whatever data type we want we can use within a structure a structure within a structure is also possible fine so in the se second is it's a derived data type which means that we don't have to do anything automatically when i type in int that is defined in the compiler but structure is not so we need to define it so it's a user defined data type then here no creation of data type is needed just the same point it's already available but structure needs to be created before defining okay here we can directly write int something but if we write struct something it well, doesn't work unless we create it and then only we can define it so this uh, these are the major differences between array and structure okay so with this we are winding up with this particular video so when you start practicing program so you have already seen one program through the video but it won't work out you just type in the different content and check by yourself then only you will be able to understand or appreciate what a structure is okay thank you